We have some new holdings in Kilwa, including one of their gold mines. Uh, there's a lot of unrest down there right now. But, uh, we are coring everything. We found out that one of our cores will never be able to be cored because I sold the only thing that allowed me to do so. And, uh, that sucks. Anyway, um, what's this? I'm not familiar with that color and country. Tyrona? I've n I don't remember ever seeing this. France has started colonizing in, uh, northern South America. Brazil should still be colonizing stuff, I hope, right? Okay. Um, we are ahead of time on Diplotech right now. Um, I still haven't messed around with any of the Holy Orders, and it's something that I should probably do. Base production in up there would be nice. Or actually not entirely necessary. Why can't I do that? Oh, we don't control Soleil. What all is in Garb? Um, grain, more grain, and sugar. So, oh, that's not even a state right now. I'm going to hold off on creating state uh, any more states right now anyway because I need to, I don't need to, but I want to catch up on admin tech and we are almost there. Getting seven ducats a month right now. And I will make Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe a state as soon as I can, because, again, gold mine. Um, I'm actually probably going to keep this fort active, just because I don't know what kind of rebels are going to be in this area. There's a Sofallen Separatist. I know that I'm pretty sure I dealt with the Sofallen Separatists that, were, that are occupying that right now. But I just want to make sure. There's something else that is supposed to... Oh, right. Converting Agadir is costing us a lot of money. 7.4 ducats a month. And we lost an Explorer. I thought when the Explorer died, they were supposed to come home automatically. Alright, we'll wait on him to get there. We've got a colonist on the way to the Comoros. Um, Tetwa is almost done. So we'll send out a colonist prematurely to get Mahe, which will be the last of the uh, Madagascar islands aside from Madagascar. I should colonize the Galapagos too. I'm actually going to do that. All of our cop, uh, colonists are uh, en route to other places right now. Oh no, Ilborbon is not. That's Mauritius. Okay, that's why. Um. Okay. I was thinking about doing it right away. Actually, I am going to do it right away. And it's probably going to cost us eight duck another eight ducats a month, but that's going to be fine because once Agadir is done in one month, less than a month actually, successful company gained ducats. We should be making 
a large amount of gold. 14. Okay. Great. So now we should have... Decent income. Well, okay, so it's actually 10 for some reason. Um, I am going to go ahead and give the burgers control of Braganza and then we will uh, revoke it in a year. Yeah, they control Porto, Tanger, and Braganza. If I got ships right now, I could get... Give it a couple months. We can almost get to Force Limit. Does Spain have any gold mine? Oh, we have a lot of Papal Influence. I'm tempted to go with stability, but at the same time, no. Um, well, how does Austria feel about rural marriage right now? Okay. If I could reduce our distance between borders, we'd only be five off. We also have no diplomatic relation or dip diplo rep, which doesn't help. I'm tempted to take both of them as mercantilism. Sure, why not? So that's what I wanted to check. Spain's holdings in the New World. Oh look, they have gold and they have grain and gold and gold and more gold. And eventually there will be a lot of gold and guess where that all goes through? Most likely anyway, I'm guessing. Um, it'll flow out of the Rio Grande and flow either into the Mississippi River or Mexico and then from Mexico to the Caribbean, where then it then comes to Sevilla. And it just so happens that most of the holdings in the Caribbean, oh, there's Fri Friesland is actually uh, co uh, colonizing the Caribbean as well. So uh, I have plans for the Caribbean. But we'll have to we'll have to wait and see what what those plans are. Some of, some of you have I've already hinted at it in the last episode. I might have straight, said it straight up already. But uh, let's convert Matatwa. I really need to start paying attention to what I've converted and what I haven't, so that I can immediately add it to. Colonial nations. Uh, we can add that, actually. And that, because they both are Catholic already. That is ours, right? Yes, okay. So once we have all of our colonists arrive to their places that we want them to get to. Oh, we have him uh, one in the Comoros too. Oh, and that one I don't want to add to a trade company yet. Because that needs to be converted first. But, uh, let's continue building up our light ships.
That takes us to 72. We just... Okay, I was going to say. So every two months, we get about... Let's just round it up. Every th four months, we will get about three ships. These ships will, the ships that I'm building right now, at this very moment, have a very specific function. That takes us to 72 force limit. I'm actually going to go up to 75 force limit. For my ships. We should be nearing admin tech 12 and just in time for us to have to worry about adopting the printing press, but we're making money so that once we can start adopting it, we don't have to like take out loans or anything. That was Metzola, right? Please tell me that was Metzola. Yes. Good. Expulsion of merchants. They stay. Spain's Portugal of me get reduced by 25, or the merchants keep a low profile. Uh, no, we're not losing power in Sevilla. Please tell me if Spain still likes me. Um, we're allied to... Oh yeah, England is their rival. And another ship coming. And our force limit already went up by another two, it looks like. That's going to be good for now on my ship building from what I think I want to do. I just need to wait for them all to be finished and I want to fabricate a claim on Tunis. Can't fabricate on Clemson. Uh, what is Orion? Let's go with Dara. Sure. And then we'll recall this diplomat. Uh, King Manuel the first is now my uh, kind-hearted. It's pretty good, I'd say. We are gaining. Quite a bit of inflation every year due to our reliance on gold mines. Uh, what is Brazil's opinion on this? Still 200%, or not percent, but uh, still 200, and we'll just max it out. I wish I could set this to like alternate, uh, like the automatic diplomat to alternate to, between uh, my allies and my um, my subjects. To keep them all high. We've got five colonies going right now and we're still making five ducats a month. Okay, now we just need to wait for our ships to finish. We have 15,000 uh, manpower with, or, uh, with a maximum of 42,000. Um, Maravi, I think, is a major Betsy, Betsy Misaraka, Betsy Misaraka. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I want to start fabricating claim on them, uh, when I'm done. I think I'm going to stop fabricating on the Congo once I have my second one. Make sure that we're still at 75. All of our ships should be finishing soon. We will be at 100% 100% of our force limit. Uh, 
Um, Tetwa has been converted. And we'll add it to a trade company. have some fallen separatists, Ooh, kind of expected some kind of separatist uh, in what we took from Kilwa. We have 75. Uh, oh, every time we add a, new, a province to our uh, trade companies, we get more uh, naval force limit, I think. I might be wrong, but still waiting on... Four more ships. That one's at 95, that one's at 89, not 89, 90, 81, and 74. We've gained a core province. Let's convert it before we add it to the trade company. And Zimbabwe will become a state and get state cores after we take this level of admin tech, which we will do in three months-ish. Okay, so we have a claim on Soyo. We'll go with Nagoya. So we have two on the Congo. Once that guy gets back. I forgot we were, I forgot we re-allied the Pope. Speaking of allies, uh, we have more than enough to increase trust with some people. Brittany, we are almost, uh, we have more than enough uh, to increase trust with them. Austria's only at 11. Spain is at 26. People see it at 23. Cool. Keep them maxed out. Still making 1.72 ducats a month. Still have, uh, we're still rooting out corruption because of some, some overextension. So once that finishes, we will actually be getting two ducats more than what we were. Uh, when is New World Charters available again? 1552, so, and I think it's the same on New World Missions. 1562. Yeah. No, they're different. I thought they were the same length of time, but apparently not. Two more in production. Jesuit mission founded. Uh, Galapagos gets local settler increase. One more ship. Just one. We get add next level of admin tech. We are now caught up, but caught back up on admin tech. Thank God. Uh, and I want to start a claim or claiming on something else. Oh yeah, we want to start fabricating claims on Moravi. I can. I have fulfilled the mission, the Cape of Good Hope. Gain 10 prestige and gain permanent claim on Cape of Good Hope. So Spain's not going to be too happy, probably. Uh, the Horn of Africa. What do we have? We have discovered any province in Mogadishu, Magertine, or Somaliland areas. We get... Sub-Saharan ambitions, trade power in Zanzibar until it's basically 20 years. Push to India. The event Vasco da Gama in India happens, and we get an explorer, a crazy explorer, Afonso de Albuquerque. We need to conquer Hormuz. We have a cl permanent claim on Hormuz. Who controls it? Please tell me. It's the Timurids. It's it had to be the Timurids. So, eventually, we'll want to take the straight. Uh, we'll want to take uh, Hormuz, but that will unlock Portuguese Oman.
Uh, but we get, if we do that, if we do all the rest down to Portuguese Oman, we will have quite a lot of land going on. Uh, or not land. Uh, there's a an awesome trade modifier for uh, the Persian Gulf trade. All right, push to India. You have completed the mission. Push to India. The explorer becomes available. We have gained conquest Castafelli against Timurids, uh, Vijayanagar. And now I need to wait. Settle Indonesia. So we don't get one for free. What do we have claims on? We have permanent claims on the. That's going to be. A big war that I'm going to have to fight. Settle Indonesia for 15 years, gain trade, efi trade efficiency and trade steering. Portuguese Malacca, we need to own Malacca now. Uh, we still need a... We need to trade, oh, okay, we need to either own or have a subject own 10 provinces producing wine with a workshop or counting house and trade enough or trade enough wine to get uh, the extra bonus. All right, so uh, conquering Zanzibar should be a priority. Defensiveness and supply limit modifier. Oh wait, we still need to complete shipyards of the east. We need to own Safala, Quelamane, and all provinces in the Mozambique area. So those three at least, there might be another one over here. But it looks like the state ends right there. I don't know if what I don't know about the one over here. I, I would imagine it does, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so now that we have this massive fleet of trade ships just sitting idly here for now, there are 20 of them. We'll bring them to Algarve. And once they are gathered up, I am going to take them over to my Caribbean province. Vasco da Gama in India. Okay, there we go. Vasco da Gama became the first por Portuguese to reach India when he landed near Cal Calicut on May the 20th, 1498. We're way behind time on that. Or, way, we're, yeah, we're way behind on doing that. Uh, despite protests from Arab merchants, da Gama managed to secure trading rights with the uh, Zamoran ruler, but later failed, failed to produce the gold required to pay for customs fees. On the whole, da Gama's expedition turned out to be very profitable to the value of the cargo brought back was 60 times, though the value of the cargo brought back was 60 times the cost of the expedition. Portugal gains, gains claim on Goa. Gain 10, okay. We gained core provinces. Okay, so we don't actually get Goa as it doesn't become ours automatically anymore. They have a ton of allies. So not only are they huge and Hindu, they're also allied with like every major power in the area. Idar, pa Palatana. Idar is huge too, it looks like. Palatana is pretty big. Uh... Jarkand. Wow, they're they're allies with like all of their neighbor, neighbors except for Bangal, it looks like. Hey Bangal, do you want to be an ally? We could take down uh, Vijayanagar. We're going to be rivals with them, though, so. That's fine. Um, right now, it's time to make uh, Zimbabwe a state. 
and start coring it. Core one of them. <clears throat> um, I might as well core Zimbabwe while we're at it. And one of the other, or not core, convert. Did I, I'm not sure which I said. We'll convert both. We have so fallen and Mutapa separatists uh, getting close to revolting. That's fine. We want that to happen because then we don't have to deal with them again. We need to wait on these guys to get back to the Caribbean. Or not back to the Caribbean, but to the Caribbean. Because we have some major plans for them. Let's go with slightly damaged repair threshold and want them to be cautious. And we're going to have them privateer the Caribbean. And I want to check this out because... Okay, we're only making 0.68 uh, in Spoils of War. Uh, printing presses begun. Or another thing. Uh, where did it begin? Oh, Origin is in Utrecht. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably be one of the last nations to embrace the printing press. But that's fine. So, we have the third highest trade power in the Caribbean after, or our pirates have the third highest trade power in the Caribbean after Castilian West Indies and Spain. Uh, and then, uh, that's 18%. And then we also have 15% of, uh, of our own trade power in the Caribbean. And the point of these pirates is to capture gold ships, capture gold fleets. And I'm hoping that will happen, even though they're Spain's, which they are our ally. And that's fine, as long as Spain doesn't know about it. They might know about it. Irritated uh, over claims to successful merchants, pirated them. Okay. That's fine. I need to get my... I need to stop doing nothing with my military while I'm at peace. We, but we've got Cephalon Separatists right now uh, that will be rising up soon. So, um, aside from that, I think things are going well. I need to attack Morocco, who is, looks like they're losing a war with Sus right now, and also Tunis. Morocco's allies have abandoned them. I think I need to build up my uh, my army now, and now that my navy's got full force limit, so uh, we'll build up our army and start uh, to really take the rest of Morocco. I'm hoping Sus doesn't take all of them, but if they do, we've still got claims on both Sus and whatever land that we have had from Morocco that we've that we need to take and uh, that'll be great um anything else that's worth note Spain hasn't really decided to co uh, colonize anything else any major things aside from they're still working on the on Eastern America for some reason and Bermuda Great Britain should have Canada soon. Looks like they expelled some Scottish Catholics at some point. And some Welsh Catholics. It's good to see that the AI actually uses new mechanics. 
Uh, it looks like there's some pirates in the English Channel now. Okay. I could have I could send the pirates to Sevilla, but that would affect my relations with Spain more, I think. And uh, I prefer not to do that. I want to be friends with them because they are protecting me from France. Who has disputed succession? Still Brittany. How old is their ruler? He's 19. Okay, so they'll probably have a... Uh, Sweden and Scotland. Age 19. Scotland still exists, but they are essentially in exile on the... Uh, okay. That's Shetland. Okay. I was going to say, I know there's the Faroe Islands, but then there's that one. That's Shetland. And then there's Orkney too, but that's right off the coast. Anyway, enough about geography. I need to end this episode. Um, we need to go to war with Moravi and Morocco and Congo. Congo is actually pretty good. They're in a trade, lo trade league with Tio. Tio is therefore a one province miner. They're also allied with Luba and Kazembe. Kazembe looks pretty big. Luba is probably somewhere in that in the Fog of War. I mean, they're definitely somewhere in the Fog of War. But um, we'll have to see what happens with uh, the Moroccan holdings because they're about to lose most, if not all, of their stuff. And that'll be something to look at, look into once uh, all the dust is settled. Again, still need to build up um, an uh, army, so a lot more to come.